my initial reaction when I read the script was that I loved it. Um, obviously knew about the story, had uh, followed Kurt's career like many others, was watched that Super Bowl 20 years before and said, this is going to be a movie someday. So to be a part of it is, is really exciting. If you describe Brenda, just really honest, kind of a firecracker, you know, just doesn't hold anything back. She's sweet as can be, but, but tough, you know, it, uh, you know, she was a former Marine and, and she's tough, but really sensitive as well. So they were a perfect match. I got to talk to her a lot on the set, you know, through the making of the movie. And, you know, just, she talked a lot about how they complement each other. And, uh, you know, they're just, they're two different people. Uh, but really kind of opposite to track, she says. But uh, she's, she's a lot of fun to be around, great sense of humor and, and really passionate. Passionate about this film, passionate about her faith and her family, and just couldn't be more in love with Kurt, you know, 25 years later. Anna Paquin, who's playing Brenda, doing a fantastic job. I mean, it's, uh, she brings that same feistiness, that same tough but vulnerable, uh, attitude to the role. I think, again, I think she uh, contains some of that and who she is. So she was able to really channel who, who Brenda is, but, but also keep a lot of who she is. We got a special young kid to play, to play Zach. Uh, Hayden Zaller is a, a totally blind actor. You know, we really wanted to be authentic with that choice. Um, and he's just wonderful. Um, his parents both act. They're both stage actors. So I think he's familiar with being around it, even though this is his first movie. Um, he just is a real natural, completely comfortable, great sense of humor, really fun kid, and just cute as could be. I mean, every time he talks, it's like your heart melts. Knew every line, knew when to come in, knew how to change it up, could listen to direction. He's a fantastic actor, and, and what he brings to the role, that vulnerability and that honesty, it's uh, something really special. When he finally gets his chance at 28 years old, after you know five years after graduating, uh, six years after graduating college, and just bouncing around, um, he got his chance to catch on with the Rams, and then you know the rest is history. Came in to replace Trent Green, who had a really terrible injury the last play of uh, preseason for the '99 season, and they went with him. Dick Vermeil decided. He's going to be our guy, and he said it with tears. I mean, I think I think everybody knew maybe their season was going to be over, and and you know they're not going to compete. But they rallied around Kurt, and the rest is history. You know, created maybe the best offense in the history of the game, and uh, greatest show on turf. Sedarium is kind of a composite character. Um, you know, Mike Hudnut in real life was his best friend, and. You know, I think what we try to do is take, you know, players and friends that he's had over the years. And, and Sidarius is an amazing actor and so funny and, and a big guy. Um, I, I love the, right off the bat, the, the relationship and the, and the chemistry they had together from the first scene. It just put a smile on my face and always had everybody laughing. And, you know, on, on some of these supporting roles, you know, it's not maybe a lot of airtime, but when... When you do get on screen, you make the most of it. And every single scene that he was in, he brought something to it. Chance Kelly was great. He's playing Mike Martz, and he resembles him, and he's bringing his tough attitude. I think everybody's talking about how amazing he is. I mean, everybody that's watched yesterday and today is like, man, this guy's really bringing it. He was really passionate about playing the part and really advocated, and uh, that's what you want. You want passionate people to be in your films. It shows when, when they're on screen. Bruce McGill was amazing. He played Jim Foster, who, uh, you know, was one of the creators of Arena Football and, and, uh, and, and the commissioner at one time, and then he started the Iowa Barnstormers and recruited uh, Kurt to play. And he's kind of a little part P.T. Barnum and uh, meets, you know, whatever coach that you could imagine. Probably a little bit Dick Vermeil as well, you know, and uh, what a funny guy. Obviously, his, uh, his credits are impeccable and just, again, brought every scene that he came to, brought something special and unique. Cindy was great. You know, she's got to play um, two ages, you know, uh, close to 20 years apart, and, and that's never easy. But uh, she's such a great actress. She's done a great job in bringing that emotion and, and toughness uh, with Kurt and 
we still have some scenes to shoot with her and and uh, you know she was you know she was a little tough with Brenda wanted to make sure that 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 um, that Kurt was prepared you know to marry someone with with two two children one disabled you know she uh, was obviously a single mother uh, for a lot of uh, the the time Kurt was uh, you know a youngster and uh, you know but she ended up falling in love with Brenda as well so she's a terrific actress John and Andy are the best they're really genuine uh, just really great guys again their faith is 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 everything to them and and they're great storytellers they're great uh, filmmakers and they love the same kind of stories that I love they love inspirational stories 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 about underdogs and uh, that's why I connect with them, you know, when I met them and uh, excited to be working with them and hopefully again. They started working as cameramen for ESPN. So they worked their way up and, uh, you know, they talk about it. That's, that, that's what got their start. That's what, you know, gave them a visual sense. And, and they really worked hard. But they were always storytellers and they wanted to take that and go to the next level, which was betting on themselves and, and becoming directors.